Welcome back. Just before the break, I was talking to Dr. Francesco De La Pupa, and he is a, an Italian sociologist, currently a research scholar, postdoctoral research scholar at the University of Sussex in Brighton. Uh, Dr. Francesco, uh, you have worked on Bangladeshi communities in, in the area of migration and then re-migration, as you say. We'll come to that a little later. But your PhD thesis was focused on, on the community, isn't it, Bangladeshi community, yeah. in uh, the place called, sorry, Alta Chakatu, yeah. Vicenza. What were your significant findings of this? Yeah, mm. the, the social impact on these families, these men in this case, because you studied men living alone, away from their families, what were the circumstances that they had to come out of their country looking for better life, looking for a uh, better life for their children? Uh, because everybody who, who is born in a country loves the place yeah. and does not want to leave unless compelled by circumstances. Yes, of course the reason for the migration uh, is not just one reason but right. there are many reasons mm -hmm. uh, connected to the personal experiences, to the social status of the family. Um, someone, uh, I mean I have to say that people that com uh, come from Bangladesh to Italy, right. to Europe, but especially to, to south of Europe, they are not come at least in the 90s, they don't come from the lower classes of the right. society, right. but from the middle class, because you have to have economic capital to, to, make, to, to invest in this journey, right. in this challenge. Yep. So they weren't uh, the, the lowest classes, but um, they weren't able to find... Uh, uh but they're not professionally qualified people. No, no. They, some of them are also um, qualified people. Some mm -hmm. of them were engineering. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, they, some of them study political sciences, mm -hmm. law. Uh, some of them also of them, yes. wor were a good... Um, uh, Handyman? Player. Uh, I, I collect so Musicians, many yes. musicians, yeah, I collect so many interesting stories about <laughs> that. But uh, in Bangladesh, especially in the 90s, uh, for the middle classes were hard times, as, as you know better than me. Um, it was difficult to find an adequate job for There was the a worldwide status. slump, economic slump. Yeah, and then so middle classes uh, haven't uh, what we call a social uh, upward social mobility. They couldn't grow up. They couldn't uh, give to the next generation better opportunity. Mm -hmm. They were mainly stop in that situation. One of the way to um, to improve their social and economic situation was to um, mm -hmm. to go in, for example, in Europe to to invest on the migration and to start to uh, unlock this uh, situation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is the main uh, reason for mm -hmm. the migration, mm -hmm. not to survive, mm -hmm. but to improve, improve the quality it. of the family in Bangladesh, the left behind family in Bangladesh. Right. I mean, all the extended family, brother, sister, right. father, but also uh, the, the family that has to come, I mean, the new generation. Uh, sometimes uh, some critical uh, events happen in the family, for example, the, de uh, the death of the father. And so yeah. the, the oldest brother have to bring on himself the responsibility for the family. Right. But there's no job, not good, enough good job in, in country of origin in Bangladesh. Yeah. So yes. they just uh, leave the country. Yes. So majority, the country. majority of them could be classified as economic migrants. Yeah, of, of course, econo economic migrants, and in Italy, they, um, almost all of them, they are workers. Yes. They are part uh, of the working class, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm proud of saying well, what this. What is the population of uh, Italy? Uh, uh, it's less 
than half of the population of Bangladesh. <laughs> so yes, of course, of course. And, and with a much larger area. Yeah, with uh, almost three times the area yes, of, yes, of Bangladesh. Yes, but you still have uh, uh, the, 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 the demand for workers in your factories, on your farms? Uh, yes, in, especially in the 1980s and it's 90s. It's because the, the, the growth of population is very slow. The, it's the growth of population is very no, slow in the, 80, in the 90s. The crisis started, but the labor market needs a lot of workforce, but especially, we have to say it and to underline it, especially cheap workforce. Yeah. Workforce that could be exploited yep. better than other kind of workforce. Right. Migrant workforce is um, basically uh, more vulnerable than the native workforce because right. they have yeah. to renew their resident permits. Right. And in Italy, there is a quite strong, and I can say, almost racist or racist law on migration, mm -hmm. it link work with resident permit. If right. a migrant lost his job, mm -hmm. he risk to lost his resident permit, mm -hmm. his residence permit and his fam uh, the whole family member residence permit. So migrant mm -hmm. must accept every kind of work right. to um, uh, preserve the regularity of their uh, ad and the administrative regularity of their status and of the family members. Well, but but uh, doesn't the International Labour Organization and the so many bodies of United Nations look at these things? Yes, of course. We have also to say that the condition of work in Italy are really better than the condition of uh, other country, like country in the Middle East. For this reason, if migrants in Bangladesh or in other country uh, have uh, enough money, they prefer to come to Europe, to Italy, right. than so to go to yes. Middle East, because yes. in Middle East they will yes. suffer for very, very hard yes. conditions. But we can't one compare uh, ourselves with something bad. We have to compare ourselves with something good. See. Yes, yes. So if, 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 if we live in conditions for migrant workers are not good in, in the Middle East, that doesn't mean that we will also have. I'm <laughs> completely <laughs> agree with you, but I think that we are living in the era of uh, neoliberalism, yes. in which market is leading the policy and the values of this mm -hmm. society, mm -hmm. and uh, no, not human rights or social equality. Well, what is the economic condition of the, these people, these Bangladeshi diaspora? Are they happy there? Are they satisfied with their choice? Uh, yeah, I'll, well, um, from my interview, I must say they were happy in Italy. Mm -hmm. They find quite good condition, especially those who live in a small town because the interaction, the relationship with the native people are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, most fre frequent. And they speak uh, Italian yeah, language? Yeah, especially the men, mm -hmm. uh, they speak uh, Italian because they, they, they spend more, more time than their wives. They in have Italy. to communicate with and their have, workers. Yeah, of course, they have more opportunity to talk with Italian on the workplaces, mm -hmm. uh, in the public mm -hmm. spaces. Mm -hmm. Yes, they uh, sometimes uh, they also speak um, the dialect of yes. the city in which they yes. live, not just Italian. That's that's good. That's an improvement. Yes. Yes, but and and of course they their children speak a wonderful Italian. But yep. now with economical crisis, you know, uh, economical crisis is more uh, strong, uh, especially in the Mediterranean country, right. especially in the southern part of Europe. And we also, mm, we have to say that uh, the migrant workers are the first workers that, uh, that feel the pressure, th they feel the pressure, and that are fired mm -hmm. by the workplaces more than the the native or the the Italian course right. uh, workers. Uh, you so, Dr. Yeah. Francesco, you mentioned uh, exploitation of the labor. And uh, this, is, this always happens, as, as you said, that the migrant workers are always the first one to feel the pressure and, and they are the first one to lose the jobs fired. Uh, what sort of pay scale salary they get the migrant workers? Is it uh, equal to the salary of a na native Italian? Yeah, yeah, it's equal. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, the trade unions uh, don't. They are, they are members of the trade unions? Yeah, um, in Italy, migrant workers uh, join the trade union massively. And uh, it's, not, it's against the law to, to give different contracts to mm -hmm. different Mm, to workers to do the th same job. Yeah, they have to to to. They must have the same contract. But uh, many researches dem uh, demonstrate that uh, if Italian workers could improve their job position, yeah. uh, migrant workers suffer for uh, the lack of uh, job. Uh, uh, it can improve. be. It can be for many reasons, isn't it? It can be for communication also. See, because. Adjustment also, yeah, but uh, family connections. Yes, but it's also happened because uh, migrants, in my opinion, are more vulnerable mm. and they they have nothing to do. They must yeah. accept this condition. But when the the, the labor market, it's it's okay. The mm -hmm. condition were okay. Uh, almost all of my interviewees. Uh, bought their houses, yeah. they, uh, they've got a good salaries, mm -hmm. but when the crisis starts, then started also the problems for migrants. Uh. Are there two or three levels of migrants? Because you said resident permit, yeah. and then there, is, there must be a pe people who are citizens of Italy. Yeah, there's, uh, we, can, uh, we can say there's the residence permit, short-term residence mm -hmm. permit, mm -hmm. It is uh, two or four or five years. Yeah. Then there's the. Um, there's the first the stage. First, yeah. Second stage is a never ending resident permit. They are not citizens, but they have got a um, long term resident permit. Right. The last stage is uh, the, we can say, the, the citizenship. Yeah. In Italy, the law about citizenship say that you must be in, in Italy continuously for 10 years right. and then you can ask for the, for the passport, for the citizenship. But you can go out for holidays? Uh, yeah, you can go also with your resident permit, but right. you have all the rights, civic rights of the, the Italians. You became Italians. You yeah. don't need to go uh, on the police offices to renew your yeah. documents. Your children became Italian and you can uh, move within Europe without asking for a visa mm -hmm. uh, as Italians, yeah. as Italy is a member of the European, European Union. Union. So yeah. it has some, um, yeah, some positive. Uh, and then also people that live for so long in a country want to be part of this country, to have the same right to be, uh, to have uh, the possibility sometimes to vote for someone. Uh, or to feel part of the country. They feel at home in Italy, so why not to take the citizen? Right. Thank you, Della Pupa. Uh, we will uh, have to take a break. Yeah. And then when we come back, we'll again retrace our steps back to Italy. Yeah. Thank you for being with us. After this break, we'll see you again. Don't go away. <laughs>